Hi there. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dr. Clélia Lima, nurse practitioner with a passion for wellness. Our topic today will help you to get some perspectives on how to do when things go wrong. I said, oh no, there is no PowerPoint up on the screen. The microphone is not working either. Oh, that was so hard. And these were not all that went wrong for my presentation. I was invited to be a speaker at the American Association of Nurse Practitioners Conference. It's a national conference that took place here at the Orlando Convention Center. And that was such a privilege. I was very humble to be, you know, accepted to be a presenter. This is a very big deal. The whole process for making, um, you know, my presentation uh, eligible for continuing education took over one year. So I was so excited preparing my presentation and doing my best to have everything interactive and very fun. So I thought everything was gonna go well, right? Well, I have to tell you, that my whole thing went so wrong and at the same time came out to be so good. So actually my presentation was how to start your own telehealth primary care practice. And um, I want to make sure that I did a good job so my colleagues could get some information how to do that for themselves. When, this, when I saw the microphone was not working, I asked myself, can I speak that loud? So the people all the way back, uh, there, was, there was a big room. So the people all the way to the back could not hear me if I didn't have a microphone. And I was saying, maybe I can speak really loud. But you know, luckily they fixed the microphone just in a few minutes that you know, it was working. But the PowerPoint, it took longer. So I had all these tech guys uh, working so hard trying to get the PowerPoint up. And um, I was just like, okay, we have microphone. Let's, you know, start talking. But, you know, just um, a few hours before my, my presentation, before I went up on stage, I realized that I had forgotten at home a very important props for my one of the stories that I want to uh, to do on my talk, and the story had to do with uh, putting your priorities in place so you can have um, good self care, especially when you're starting your own business. It can be very difficult to do so many things by yourself, so you, you forget to take care of yourself. So the whole uh, story. Um, was with an illustration uh, of a bowl, a crystal bowl with a lid that had, you know, big rocks inside and little rocks as well. The only way to fit the whole thing in the bowl was to put the big rocks first. And that was the whole idea. When you put the big rocks, which, you know, for me had uh, to do with my self-care, how I take care of myself, how I exercise, how I sleep well, how, how I eat well. So I do my meditation, my, my readings in the morning so it can be, you know, good for the day. But if I don't put the big rocks first, I put all the little rocks and then I end up not having time for the most important thing. So that was the idea to present and I had prepared, you know, the crystal ball that I had with the lid and the big rocks and little rocks. And I forgot all the, you know, stuff I left home. And I was like, okay, what do I do, I do now? Luckily, my daughter was... Um, coming to the presentation and she came to my rescue. She went home to my home and got, you know, what I, uh, I asked her. When she got to the convention center, and mind you, that thing was heavy, okay? Talking about crystal ball and rocks. And she very nicely took the whole, you know, thing for me. But when I went to the speaker uh, room, you know, to kind of brush up my, my, my talk, I said, let's, you know, see how, you know, the presentation is going to go with with the story. And then I realized that my daughter have 
had brought only two big rocks, not the four big rocks they were supposed to be. So at that point, it didn't matter if it was, you know, big rocks first or little rock first, everything would fit because it was missing two big rocks. So I thought, I may not just, you know, tell the story at all. And I started blaming myself. How could I have forgotten at home something so important for my talk that I had been preparing for over a year? And then, I, you know, the self-blaming, like, you know, and then I, I could list, you know, a big list of excuses how, you know, I, I, I forgot, you know, my, my important, you know, uh, uh, material at home. But at that time, luckily, I didn't stay too long in that self-blaming stage. And then moved into self-compassion and gave me permission to be imperfect. And I said, you know what? It didn't work out that way. Let's do the best. So when I, uh, while the people were trying to, uh, to fix the microphone and then uh, later the, the PowerPoint, I told them the story of the how I failed to bring the, the proper uh, representation for the story I wanted to tell. So I told the story of the story. And that was a way so amazing for people to connect with me because I was not perfect, you know? I was just being real. I was just being, you know, vulnerable. Like, you know, I'm sorry, you know, uh, it didn't uh, turn out the way I wanted. But they got, you know, we laughed. We had a good laugh. And uh, they got the idea, you know, I, I kind of showed them and said, well, you know, that's how it came out. So by not being perfect actually came out even better, you know. And meanwhile, I was uh, telling uh, my story about how I started my, my own practice and uh, how I lost my job. You know, I was laid off due to COVID and there was a blessing in disguise. Because, you know, the thing that could be something really bad, it turned out to be the best thing that happened to me. It was like a springboard to make me actually pursue my dreams and, and do the things that I want to do because for a long time I want to uh, open my own practice. So, uh, you know, the energy in the room was remarkable because people were asking questions, they were relating, they were just, you know... Uh, it, it was just, you know, amazing because everybody felt comfortable. Nothing was like rigid. It was not like so formal. And I, I, I was really, you know, humbled to see how much uh, the feedback was just so positive. And people uh, would tell me it was not just information that they got from my presentation. They got the hope that they could also uh, pursue their own dreams. So... I'm convinced that all that went wrong actually worked out for a stronger connection with my colleagues. It made my presentation better than I planned. At the end, everything came out better. Maybe you are blaming yourself because you're not perfect. Uh, maybe something to do with your health, with relationships, or missing goals at work. There are so many ways that you can be so hard on yourself. I know because I have done that myself. But you know what? Perfectionism is an unattainable goal. Brene Brown, one of my favorite authors, she talks about perfectionism is at the core of trying to earn approval from other people. What do they think about me? That's, you know, trying to be the best just because, you know, what people are going to think about me. Actually, self-improvement is, is the opposite because it's self-centered. You want to strive to improve, to be better yourself, but for your own uh, internal reasons. That's when you have permission to be real, to be yourself, and to show your humanity. So... When we realize that we have this common, you know, uh, connection, we take off the game face and just show the real self. And that's how connections are made. So that's all for today. And I hope that you um, can be good to yourself, not too hard. And also to make sure that imperfection is a gift because then you can be better 
but better with better connections. That's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, you can um, share with your friends and I see you next time. Keep moving towards your best self. Be healthy and feel well.